Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. I know you guys have seen an M16. I know you guys have seen a saw, but have you ever seen the fight light? A belt fed AR upper. Let's do it. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Gonna be a great day. That's an impressive rate of fire. Let's go up to the hill and take out some choice targets, shall we? <laughs> All right, we just got done making us some watermelon salad down there. It looks pretty scrumptious there. Guys, this is a really cool upper from Fight Light, the MCR. And pretty much what this allows you to basically do is to have a light saw. So you have a belt fed upper in 5.56 that'll work on an AR-15 lower, okay? So this is a KG made machine gun lower. Uh, it does work on a machine gun lower. They do sell full auto and semi-auto bolts. You gotta make sure you get the right bolt or whatever. Uh, it's available in a couple of different barrel lengths. Uh, it's got a very heavy SOCOM profile all the way back here. The barrel change is really quick and simple on this particular gun. We've got an OSS uh, helix on this, so really, really good at mitigating back pressure. You do need to run these guns really wet. Lots of lubricant, lots of grease uh, to make sure that everything's gonna move like it's supposed to, okay? We've got a, you know, basically a feed tray right here. You've got a top cover that pops open to you load everything in. And the bolt stop on these has a special like little small trimmed off bolt stop uh, to lock the bolt to the rear. You can lock the bolt to the rear. Now it is a closed bolt system. It's not like a, a full auto saw. Uh, it trips like a normal M16. We are gonna shoot it a little bit, take some uh, single shots and control bursts out to 300 yards. I mean, we're gonna shoot this thing at long range. These are uh, M27 links with 62 grain ammunition. Now, this thing prefers 62 grain ammo. You've got to run the heavy stuff. It will not run 55 grain ammo. Uh, that's one uh, no, uh, thing that we've noticed, obviously, with them, is that you do have to run the full power 62 grain military ammo uh, for it to work right. And another thing that I've noticed on this MCR it will pick up and feed off of M16 magazines, which is really cool. We're gonna, um, you know, standard Stan Ag mags, we're gonna show that off here. Now, when it picks up the first round, I've noticed, sometimes it wants to like kind of hang up because there's a lot going on to strip that initial round because it's dragging the carry handle along with it, or not the carry handle, the charging handle. So right now the bolt is to the rear, but when I go to chamber it, sometimes it'll chamber all the way, sometimes it won't, but I pull back and let go, see? It tried to push it in, but if I pull back again, it chambers. Okay, so sometimes that first round, it just takes a little bit of effort to get it in there. And it only does it sometimes, I notice. Um, I got this particular Fight Light Upper through Brownells. Uh, they do carry also the little 12 and a half inch barrels. I'm probably gonna wind up getting the, the short barrel for it. Be kind of cool. All right, and it is a quick change barrel. I'll show you that in a second, uh, which makes uh, changing barrels a snap, super easy. All right. <laughs> All right, we got a belt in this thing. We got our ACOG set up and our Geisley Super Precision mount. I've got the uh, bipod here loaded up really good. This is an Atlas bipod, and it's just a Poverty Pony lower, real simple setup. All right, we're going to take some single shots on semi, make sure we're where we want to be, and I've got the bipod loaded up real good. And uh, I'm going to run this thing like a machine gunner would run it. All right except I get to take single shots, which you don't really get the luxury of doing with the open bolt saw. Not as precise. You ready, Chad? Yeah, you going for 100 first? Yeah. Single? <laughs> 200. Send it. Two fifty. Over the top. Uh, it looked like it was right over the head. There you go, right in the shoulder, right side. It's kind of low and left, wasn't it? That was, yeah. Those three shots. All right, going for three. Uh, just off the plate, about seven o'clock low. There you go.
Not shabby. Very good. All right, I'm gonna run some bursts at 300, Chad. All right. Got her loaded in nice and tight here. Clear. It's uh, favoring vertically, so it's stringing vertically a little bit, but you're getting two to three shots on the plate. Not bad. Clear, no links, no brass. Not bad. <laughs> wow, that thing is uber controllable. And the ACOG is just tracking beautifully like we expected to. Uh, that Helix, man, super smooth shooting recoil. Um, this is definitely a tool, you know what I mean? This is not just some toy. This is a really cool setup. From what I understand, these things were originally made for military contract, and I can't speak to whether or not they achieved that military contract or not, I'm not sure. Um, but this could be really a functional thing to just strap to the side of your rucksack or something, if, especially if you were a soldier in combat and you had a standard AR-15 lower or whatever, you know, M16 lower with a full auto function or three round burst or whatever. Um, this could be a force multiplier for a mil military unit. And man, you wanna talk about the ultimate pig hunting tool? If you were gonna go on like one of those helicopter pig hunts, son, let me tell you, this would be an awesome piece of hardware for taking out pigs from a helicopter. All right, um, one thing I wanna make a couple of notes of, just observations. You gotta run it wet. It needs to be well lubricated. You need to lubricate the links. I would lubricate the links and also the condition of your M27 links is paramount. You gotta make sure you got links that are in good condition, either new or if they are used, make sure that they're well lubricated and everything like that. All right, this gun will also pick up off of magazines. We've gotten the gun pretty warm. We're not trying to, you know, destroy the thing, okay? We are gonna shoot it off of magazines and we're gonna take some shots now, just semi-auto, and just see how um, it's held up and if it's stringing or doing anything weird after being warmed up a bit, okay? Um, some people I I've seen have complained a little bit about uh, point of impact shift when you remove the barrel and replace the barrel. Uh, going from barrel to barrel. I've heard of some people having issues with the zero walking around. We haven't really seen that yet. Uh, I've probably got maybe 400 rounds for this thing so far. And like I said, other than that first initial pickup wanting to be an issue stripping off that first link, other than that, it works 110% all the time. Don't have that problem off the magazines. Now, another observation I wanna make is that most military belt feds, this top cover is actually spring loaded and it clicks past a certain point and it stays up there. This is not spring loaded. Okay, so if it, if it falls, it's gonna fall. You do not want to let this thing slam like that. Don't let it fall, don't let it slam, because not only do you not wanna you know, have your finger in the way and smash your finger or something, but you also don't wanna break any of the feed paws or the feeding mechanism, and you don't wanna put undue wear on this plunger back here. Now, Fight Light sells tons of spare parts. There's a lot of proprietary parts on these uppers, and that's why they're so pricey. They are expensive, but that's par part of the reason why is there's a lot of proprietary parts that are exclusive just to this setup. So um, that's just one thing to note. Uh, I find the best thing to do when you close the top cover, just go ahead and bring it down gently. Just push right here, even pressure, down. Nice and gentle. And make sure you keep that plunger well lubricated. Everything that moves around on this, you wanna make sure that it's lubricated and it'll work well. All right, we're gonna put the gun on safe. Now, we're gonna insert a standard Stanag PMAG. Now that works no problem. So the cool thing about this is that you can still run it like a standard AR and just pretend it's not belt fed and don't even worry about the belt fed as as aspect if you don't want to. So that's kind of one of the nice things about it. All right, so now we're just gonna take some single shots. We're just gonna treat it like it's an AR at this point. This is the 16 and a half inch barrel. They do a 18 inch barrel and a 12 and a half inch barrel. I didn't know about the 18 yeah, inch barrel. They, they make an 18 inch barrel for this gun. Absolutely. Oh mama. It's threaded half by 28. This particular model you can see obviously is uh, fully railed all around. You can also do them in a M lock and a key mod in terms of the rails. Cool. Okay. Very cool. All right. You're gonna shoot singles at three? Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, we will. 
because you know we've, we've gotten her pretty warm here all right let's see where she's and at. we had several bursts that were hitting right where we wanted they were all right let's try the eight inch plate go ahead the barrel on these things is very robust and very heavy like i said it's a full socom for the, like the latter two-thirds of the barrel length mm -hmm. it's definitely h-bar profile for oh sure. yeah it's heavy Just to the right at three o'clock, good elevation. Same place. Uh, just left. There you go. Favoring a little low of center on the stem. There you go. Shoot. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, man, for, for what this thing's meant to do, I mean, this is a this is a pig destroying machine right all here. All right, all right. Obligatory gopher shot. Let's do it. Come on. Sim auto. Sim auto, yeah. All right, gopher. Gopher hunting with a belt fed. <laughs> oh, right past his nose. There we go. Just past his chest. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. All right, well, he's dead anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, let's try like... that uh, half-size D28 on the left there. Can we see it? Yeah, we can see it. Send it. Oh, yeah, good center mass shot. Ah, that was right over the shoulder there. I am very pleased with that. I mean, it's holding probably about two MOA or so. Two minutes? Yeah, very impressive. Look, here's the thing. This is kind of part of the way I, I tend to look at this, all right, from, from my observation, is that there's no way you'd be able to take an open bolt saw. And in this, in this situation, we're running on a machine gun lower. Now, it's not gonna be, I suppose, as accurate as, let's just say, a really nice accurate AR, but it serves a multi-use role that a normal AR can't serve, and that's being a belt fed in a backup situation. Or, you know, running it primarily as a belt fed. I mean, it, it is designed for sustained automatic fire, uh, no problem. So, man, what a, a neat setup. And on that last uh, round there, the bolt did lock to the rear on the magazine. So you still have the functionality of a standard AR, but something that can handle some sustained fire, which is really, really neat. Um, I'm going to let the gun cool down just a little bit. We don't want to, you know, work this thing too crazy. And uh, we're going to check our suppressor just to make sure it's nice and tight. Uh, we did get it on there really tight, but we are subjecting this gun to some full auto fire. So we're going to check our, our can, let the gun cool down just a bit. And we'll run our last belt here. And uh, man, I mean, she's working great. Really cool stuff. This OSS Helix is a left-hand thread uh, can. We just want to make sure everything was good. You know, we ran it and sustained fire like this. Just want to make sure it didn't walk off or anything. And it was fine. It was nice and tight. All right. So again, I'm going to show you, I'm, I'm going to charge it as hard as I can. Oh, that picked up. Okay. And we did lube the heck out of these links. Don't lube the ammo guys, just the links. Okay. We're going to fire some more bursts at 300. Okay. I, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. This thing was actually doing quite well, Chad. Doing very good. Man, I'm going to tell you right now, this, uh, yeah. The setup's neat. All right, here we go. And I believe this is a CBC marked ammo. So this is MagTech 62 grain ammo. I got this stuff through Brownells and uh, they actually sell it pre-linked. So you can get uh, 62 grain ammo on pre-linked on M27 links. This is about a 50 round belt. <laughs> and there's a myriad of accessories for this particular uh, upper as well. You can get a, um, you can get a nutsack adapter for the magazine well on the bottom. And yes, they call it a nutsack. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little 100 round nutsack and they also make like a big old 250 for the people that want to have the extra large nutsacks <laughs> on the bottom. All right, 
No more innuendos. <laughs> Cruel innuendos. Uh. All right. We're going for it. And guys, as a machine gunner, I fire. I, I like to fire three or four shot bursts. I, I don't like to. I don't like to go the full money. I like to try to control, but we'll we'll go for some we'll go for some bursts here. This send thing it. is very easy to run. You ready, Chad? Yep. Send it when you're ready. All right. Three hundred yards. Fight light belt fed. <laughs> Favor and a little left. Not bad. Woo, baby. <laughs> Gets the job done. Gets the job done. No links, no brass. Empty. <laughs> Thing is killer. Dude, it sounds so nice with the suppressor. Now, um, this particular OSS Helix, it, it does meter about 138. Well, on, on that 18-inch uh, BCM, yeah. With the yeah, piston. so it is slightly above hearing safe level, hence the ear pro. But when I'm running without EarPro, this thing is very, very pleasant. And it's got a nice tone. And uh, man, the OSS is the perfect type of suppressor for this arrangement. And Chad and I have both found ourselves really liking that particular suppressor for this type of use. Especially if you're going to you know, run on some type of a machine gun. Anything threaded half by 28, it's a great candidate for that. Um, man, I cannot say enough cool things about this particular upper. It is such a cool piece of hardware, not something that you get to come across very often. And the cool thing is, it's just an accessory. It's not something that, you know, it's not a gun per se. Okay. So really cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Whew, I'm going to have to come down from the belt fed giggles there. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. We had a blast making today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for the support, guys, through, through all the years of support you've given us. Those of you who support us on Patreon, if you purchase man cans or t-shirts over on the website, all those funds go right back into supporting projects like this. Thank you guys so much for being a part of what we do and for putting value into what we do and seeing value in what we do. Many more videos on the way. We hope you had fun and we'll see you next time.